We'll have more on that in a moment. But first, President Biden took questions for nearly two hours during Wednesday's press conference as he marks one full year as commander in chief. He touted his accomplishments within his first year and addressed his stalled legislative agenda. BNC's Ariana Manish joins us live from the Capitol. Ariana. To Shawnee, President Biden was inaugurated a year ago today. Wednesday was his first press conference that he has held in months as he approaches that one year mark. And he used his time in front of reporters to list out the accomplishments that his administration has achieved within this last year, but also communicate directly to Americans, letting them know that he just needs a little bit more time to address certain matters in his domestic agenda. It's important to note that as President Biden enters into year two of his time in the Oval Office. He's also approaching this marker with low approval ratings, as well as his domestic agenda still held up right here on Capitol Hill. Now, when asked if President Biden overpromised to the American people when he was inaugurated into the Oval Office, he said he did not and that his administration has actually seen enormous progress throughout his time leading America. He also gave us more so a window of what we can expect as we enter into year two of his time in the White House, Biden says he wants to more so get out of Washington more, travel around the country and speak directly to Americans, communicating with them as far as what he's trying to achieve and what he's trying to pass on Capitol Hill. He also says that people, they don't know what he's trying to move through Congress and that this is essential as we approach the midterm elections and Democrats, they could potentially lose control of the House, which could make it harder to pass parts of his domestic agenda. The president also faced questions surrounding voting rights and the lack of confidence black voters have expressed from his administration. He answered that he's always had the back of black Americans and on the issue of whether he's been forceful enough, he says that's his own doing. Take a listen. That is my own making by not communicating as much as I should have. Yet, you find that uh, when you deal with members of the Black Caucus and others in the, in the United States Congress, I still have very close working relationships. So it's like every community. I'm sure that there are those in the community, and I'm a, I'm a big labor guy. I'm sure there's people in labor saying, why haven't I been able to do A, B, C, or D? So it's just going to take a little bit of time. Now, the president, he also addressed his leadership style within the first year. He says he's no longer negotiating as a senator, as a vice president, reflecting on his previous roles before coming into the White House. He says he's going to act as a president, something that Democrats have called to see and they want to see from President Biden, him being more forceful, more aggressive and acting as an executive. Back to you, Chashani. All right, Ariana Manis, live from the Capitol. Thank you for that report.